and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today I'm going to go over the risk factors for developing a blood clot, or in other words, who has an increased risk to develop a blood clot. So first of all, let's review a little bit what a blood clot is. So a blood clot or a deep vein thrombosis, often called a DVT, can form in the deep veins of the legs. And this can be a problem because they can break away from the legs and travel up to the lungs. And that can occlude blood flow depending on the size of the clot. This can be a deadly circumstance, which is why we take these blood clots in the legs or DVTs so seriously. So when this blood clot reaches the lungs, the medical term for it is a pulmonary embolism, also known as a PE. And this can be deadly because it can occlude the blood flow to the lungs. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the risk factors and these are in no particular order but they all are known to increase your risk of developing a blood clot. Okay, so the first one is immobilization. Anytime you're not moving around as you normally would, such as during long travel, when you're flying on a long plane ride, when you're sitting at a desk all day, when you're hospitalized, anytime you're not moving around as you normally would, this puts you at an increased risk of developing a blood clot. And this is because your blood is just not circulating as it normally would. Exercise improves circulation, and so it's very important to always have your blood flowing and circulating so that it does not pool in these veins and develop a blood clot. So a recent injury or surgery can definitely put you at an increased risk for developing a blood clot. Any damage to these veins from trauma could impair blood flow, especially fractures to the pelvis, hips, or lower extremities. So a recent injury or surgery may have caused damage to the veins or it may just be that you're not moving around as you normally would, which again will cause pooling of your blood and increase your risk of developing a blood clot. Okay, so another risk factor is during hospitalizations. Anytime you are admitted to the hospital for whatever reason, and there's really not much to do in a hospital room all day long except sit in bed and watch TV, that can increase your risk of developing a blood clot. So now it is often protocol in a lot of hospitals for anyone being admitted to be started on a blood thinner to keep that blood nice and flowing and circulating because it is well researched that during hospitalizations, your risk for a blood clot increases significantly. So especially admissions for big surgeries or large fractures where you're just not going to be up and moving around a lot, you will be started on a blood thinner and these nurses are going to be after you all day to get up, get moving, walk yourself to the bathroom with a walker, walk around the hallways, around the nursing station, sit up at the side of the bed and dangle your legs, anything to get you moving, get your blood circulating during your time there. Okay, so another risk factor for developing a blood clot is a prior history of a blood clot or a strong family history of a blood clot. Sometimes this is tied to an inherited blood clotting disorder that the patient doesn't even know about. But if you have a strong family history, a parent, a sibling who has had a blood clot, that increases your risk of developing a blood clot as well. Okay, so another risk factor is smoking. Smoking increases the clotting factors causing platelets to clump and this increases your risk of developing a blood clot. So in the hospital, in the emergency room, we are always going to encourage you to stop smoking. And this is just another reason why, because it can decrease your risk of developing a blood clot. Okay, so another risk factor is pregnancy and up to six weeks postpartum. So during pregnancy and postpartum, there are a lot of hormone changes and this can increase your chances of developing a blood clot. So during pregnancy, your risk is increased for a couple of reasons. First of all, the increase in hormones can cause your blood to clot more easily. And second of all, blood flow is more constricted because of the growing fetus applying pressure on the veins. So during pregnancy, your obstetrician is always going to encourage you to exercise, to go for walks, if there's no medical reason why you cannot. And that will help keep blood flowing and circulating and decrease your risk of developing a blood clot. Also, your obstetrician may recommend you wear compression socks and it really helps decrease that swelling, especially in the last trimester and can provide a lot of comfort when your legs are just so swollen and achy. Okay, so another risk factor is oral contraceptives or birth control or hormone replacement therapy. So this risk is similar to pregnancy where the increase in hormones can allow blood to clot more easily. Okay, so another risk factor is being overweight or obese. And this is because the extra weight can put more pressure on the large veins in the pelvis or the legs, constricting blood flow. Also people who are overweight or obese tend to have a more sedentary lifestyle, 
where they're not exercising as much, not moving around as much. So being overweight or obese can increase your risk of developing a blood clot. Okay, so another risk factor is increased age. So some sources will say over 50 years old, over 60 years old, but the older you get, the more your risk for developing a blood clot will grow. However, a blood clot can occur at any age. Okay, so another risk factor is certain cancers or cancer treatments. Your oncologist will definitely discuss this with you if you are at an increased risk and implement strategies to decrease your risk as much as possible. Okay, and then some certain medical conditions such as heart failure, atrial fibrillation, inflammatory bowel disease are known to increase your risk of developing a blood clot and often your doctor will start you on a blood thinner as a preventative measure. Okay, so these are the main risk factors for developing a blood clot. A lot of them are modifiable, such as just increasing your activity level, exercise more, stop smoking, wear compression socks. And so even if you are at an increased risk of developing a blood clot, there are ways to help prevent it. So a great way to help prevent blood clots while you are immobilized or traveling is to wear compression socks. They help apply pressure to the veins and return blood back to the heart into circulation. And so if you are going to be immobilized or doing any long travel, it is almost always recommended to wear compression socks to improve your circulation. Down below, I will link some of the compression sock brands that I use, but there are just so many different kinds of compression socks. And so in my opinion, I think wearing any compression sock is better than wearing no compression sock at all when it comes to preventing blood clots. All right, you guys, so I hope this video helped you understand the risks for developing a blood clot. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos as soon as they go out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.